Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. A blessed Easter of the Lord's resurrection to you, dear friends. This is Sister Luci Bagalay of the Daughters of St. Paul, bringing to you today's Gospel Power. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw, and saw that the stone has been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head not lying on the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Two details are often overlooked in this gospel account about the empty tomb and burial cloths. The evangelist John reports that Mary Magdalene saw that the stone had been moved away. Further on, he reports, Peter observes that the piece of cloth which had covered the head was rolled up in a place by itself. Here, the evangelist John uses two passive verbs whose agent is unnamed. In biblical studies, such passive verbs are called divine passive, clearly implying that God is the unnamed actor. God has been at work, and the empty tomb and burial cloths are given as historical traces of His transcendent, transformative action. Jesus died giving His Father His absolute trust amidst the darkness of uncertainty and the pain not only of physical torture, but of rejection by the very people for whom He offered His life. The Father can never disappoint that trust. The empty tomb is a historical glimpse that the Father's transformative victory over the evil forces that assaulted His Son. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. 
Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Colonsoan, pray for us.